Ah, here we go. So I'm going to do my first driving home review in a very long time. Uh, and I'm not doing the driving today. Paul's driving. Whoa! Paul's in the dark. Paul can't be seen. Uh, it also means I've probably got more best. light. Uh, so I have my uh, Avengers top on, which uh, uh, there was a few people with uh, similar Avengers. Well, actually, no, nobody had this one. Uh, there were other people with, like, Captain America suits or whatever else. Uh, no one else had the actual Avengers. Uh, the site I bought this from called it a quantum hoodie and so that's what I'm gonna say it is because I think if I start divulging anymore it's a spoiler um, so this uh, driving home review will be spoiler free um, I'm not gonna discuss plot points uh, what I would say is this isn't anywhere close to my favorite Marvel film but I do feel extremely satisfied that it closes off everything they've done since the start of Iron Man uh, including some extra stuff that isn't the MCU but relates to it um, I think the only thing that no I'm not even gonna say that um, so um, try and keep this a little steadier so I'm not shaking around too much um, probably going to fail miserably. Normally I sit this on my dashboard <laughs> and so so it's actually kind of semi-steady. This is just in my hand so it's going to be wobbly, wobbly as fuck. Um, so yes, it's uh, the best way to describe how I feel about this film is it delivers exactly what you wanted it to deliver and exactly what you expected it to deliver. And that's as cryptic as I'm getting. Um, there are surprises. There is stuff that uh, there's, there's there's little touches is the best way to describe it. So there's just stuff, not just from the Marvel Comics universe, not the, um, and, sorry, Marvel Cinematic Universe, but from the Comics universe too. There are things to look for going on in places and in the background, and things that crop up. Uh, that people who've just been following the films, it'll just be a, oh yay, that's nice, they did that. People who are Marvel people will go, oh my God, they did X, Y, and Z. Um, so I think it just works on a lot of levels, but it does, say the best way to describe it is, is it just, it brings everything to a very nice ending. Um, it, uh, it's, it's a very emotionally satisfying payoff to what, 11 years worth of films, 21 films, uh, and some sort of TV spin-offs and bits and pieces and one-shots and, and all, you know, all of that. Um, we did it in IMAX with Infinity War as a double bill. Um, although I got fidgety during Infinity War because it was the fourth time I think I've seen it, um, I did find that uh, I, I think it's the better film for me because it's just got more... More going on isn't the right word, it's just got more action and adventure. This one felt, in tone, I would say more like Thor Ragnarok. Hmm. Because the first, I mean it didn't feel like three hours at all. But when it got to the end I was thinking there was going to be some sort of, and off it kicks again. And, and no, 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 genuinely that was the end. Um, to, to be fair, Infinity War felt longer, but I think that's because we've seen it before. Well, even first time around, it, Actually, the first time around, it didn't feel like a long, long film, Infinity War, this time last year or whatever. Um, I think there's a lot to enjoy with this film. I think it's something that also, it's one of those films that'll be a bit of a grower. I think now I would barely rank it in the top 10 of the 22 films. It's like number 11 or 12, probably, for me. Um, but I think with a few viewings, ooh, we're really wobbling all over the place. With a few viewings, I think it might grow a little more on me. I think there's probably appreciation to be found once you know what's coming, rather than you've got the ex rather than trying to go what, what what's happening, what's happening. Um, I found the CGI in places. I think possibly because it was an IMAX screening, uh, I just found the CGI a little on the dodgy side. There were a few times. Um, Hulk, for example, didn't really look like he was actually there, didn't look natural to me. Um, 
other CG characters were were fine. Rocket, I think, was did, at no point did he look dodge. Um, a couple of the characters have plots and arcs that I didn't necessarily expect. Um, even though the overarching way the story falls is pretty much bang on what I was thinking would happen. Um, I think anybody who's gone out and looked for and discussed theories will be happy that some of what they've been theorising over the last 12 months is spot on, but there will be things that you will have got completely polar opposite wrong. Um, but again, I think it's just, it was just for me a very emotional, upbeat feeling of satisfaction at the end that yes, this has, there weren't really anything, weren't really anything, that's terrible grammar, there weren't really any strings left for me. Uh, everything's kind of very nicely done. Um, but with the opportunity to tell more stories and start a whole new saga and chapter. Um, there was something missing based on things I read about stuff. I won't go into too much detail, but a bit of casting that didn't see that person at all. Don't know what was going on there. Might have just been, again, misdirection or on the cutting room floor, who knows. Um, but bless him, I, I think um, it was just quite funny that the girl behind us, oh, she was a sobbing wreck the last 20 minutes of the film to the point where I actually turned around and said to her, love, are you okay? Um, huge Marvel fan, apparently, just in general, not just the films. Um, and just the the climax of the film, I think, was it's just been an emotional journey for her. So she, um, she was just, I mean, she was an absolute mess. The girl next to me was, was crying, not at points that were obvious points where you might get a tad emotional, um, I'll have to tell Paul in a minute what bit I'm talking about because I can't say, I just can't say. Um, so yeah, overall, I mean, it's, it's definitely one to see on the big screen. Um, I don't know that you'd need to shell out for IMAX or 4DX. We're doing 4DX tomorrow, as it happened tomorrow, later on today now, in fact. Um, but I don't know that it needs it in the same way that some of the others were definitely a good experience for, for going for a slightly more, oh, that's my hand, enhanced screening, but um, yeah, catch it on the big screen for sure, um, just for, apart from anything else, just to be part of the cultural phenomena, because there's not been anything like this, so if they ever do anything like this again, it will have been done, I think there's a very definite argument for, yeah, I was there when, um, but yeah, all in all, it's, it's a good film, it's a satisfying film, you will walk out grinning like a loon. <laughs>